tampoco me has amado y al final todo ha cambiado. Welcome to our tour of Peru, a nation filled with colorful culture and wonder. With a population of roughly 30 million, Peru will have you captivated with its wonderful food, museums, and restaurants that outlook the tides of the ocean. We hope you enjoy the tour and that your visit with us will be an unforgettable experience. So these are some of the important do's and don'ts of traveling in the country of Peru. Do greet others with a handshake and one kiss on the cheek for both men and women. Whatever you do, make sure you do not drink the tap water. Use bottled water for everything, including brushing your teeth. When visiting Peru, don't be alarmed if you ever see armed guards. It's actually very common to have them standing outside of stores, restaurants, or banks holding a gun. Do make sure to bring your own toilet paper, as they are often not supplied by public bathrooms. The climate in Peru varies from humid rainforest to icy mountains, from sunny beaches to coastal desert. Okay, so Peru has three main languages. The majority of people speak Spanish, and then there are two other languages, Quechua and Aymara, which are spoken in indigenous populations in the Amazon rainforest and Andes mountains. Ancient Inca religion still influences the indigenous population of Peru, who blend their traditional beliefs with Roman Catholicism, which is brought to Peru by the Spanish. You can visit the Lima Cathedral, which was built in 1564 and located at the Plaza Mayor in downtown Lima, Peru. Day two, we're going to be visiting the city of Cajamarca, and this is the city where the Spanish conqueror Francisco Pizarro defeated the Inca ruler Atahualpa with only 164 soldiers in 1532. He was able to easily defeat the Inca defenders and capture Atahualpa because he set up an ambush and had the advantage of gunpowder. This is the beginning of Spanish rule in Peru, but the capture of Atahualpa was not the end of Inca resistance against the Spanish. <laughs> to wrap up our day at Cajamarca, we're going to go to the natural viewpoint of Santa Apolonia and from there we can get a good view of the city and everything that it has to offer. In day three, we will visit Cusco, Peru and the city of Ayacucho. On July 6, 1821, the first count of Los Andes, Jose de la Sorna, moved the capital of Peru to Cusco. He was a Spanish general and a colonial officer and was the last Spanish viceroy of Peru. Although Cusco is no longer the official capital, it is a huge tourist attraction, bringing over two million people to Peru every year. Declared the historical capital of Peru by the Constitution of Peru, it is a beautiful place to visit and enjoy all the country has to offer. It is located near the Andes mountain range and the Urumbamba Valley. You can visit ancient Inca ruins and temples as well as hiking in the mountain range. It offers something for everyone from families with children to young adventure seekers. We will also be visiting the city of Ayacucho. The Peruvian War of Independence began in 1821. The Battle of Ayacucho took place December 9, 1824 and saw the defeat of the Spanish army, marking the end of Spanish rule in South America, which freed Peru from Spanish rule. The city is a great place to visit and take in all the historical sites, including churches and battle sites. You can also plan your visit around the festivals that are held annually in the city. Both the city of Cusco and Ayacucho are great places to visit on your trip to Peru. In day four, we will be visiting the city of Iquitos. Located in the Peruvian rainforest, Iquitos is the fifth largest city in Peru and is nicknamed the capital of the Peruvian Amazon. 
The city was originally developed from an Indian mission town built by the Jusit Order, a religious group that became popular in the 18th century. However, Peru experienced political movement that focused on the relationship between the state and the indigenous minorities in the region. The combination of modern economics and technologies with the historical traditions of the countryside and the Indian populations created a new and unique model for social and economic prosperity. Today, the city is a destination for tourists who want to experience the historical architecture, cuisine, landscapes, and diverse culture that thrive in Iquitos. For the best experience, we suggest making the port city of Iquitos your main destination. There, you can tour the Peruvian River Basin and stay in the many jungle lodges that surround the area. In the city, you can visit the markets in the floating village of Berlin. There, you'll see the beautiful wildlife as well as being able to take a short river cruise. Iquitos is a beautiful city that we are sure you'll enjoy on your trip to Peru. In day five, we will be visiting the city of Tarma. Located in the central Andes, just outside of Lima, Peru, Tarma is the birthplace of Manuel Adrora, president of Peru from 1950 to 1956. Due to rapid inflation, trade deficits, along with public protests against the authoritative regime and labor unrest, the president was forced to allow free elections in 1956. This was a huge milestone in Peruvian history. In Tarma, you can visit restaurants and stay in the many lodges in the city. You can also visit Grotta de Jaguapo, a cave that contains a stream and large rock formations. Because the city is located in Central Andes, hiking is always an option. The historical significance of the city, as well as its beautiful location, makes it a great place to stop while visiting Peru. In day six, we will be visiting the city of Pura. Piura is a city in northwestern Peru with a population of approximately 400,000. Piura is also a city that is heavily affected by El Niño, an irregularly occurring series of intense climate change that affects many parts of northern Peru. Piura is home to one of the two campuses of the University of Piura, the other located in Lima. It is also home to the famous and impressive Plaza del Armas which is Peru's oldest park. Located in the heart of Peru, the park is a nice place to visit and is also popular among families with children. If you're feeling adventurous, you can head to the nearby northern coastlines of Peru. It is known for its steady winds, warm waters, and is an excellent place to surf. One of the best known tourist attractions is La Esmeralda Beach, where many locals like to go during their holidays. Pura is a great place to visit on your trip to Peru. For day seven, we chose to spend an extra day in the capital city of Lima, Peru. The Lima Cathedral is a beautiful church ded dedicated to John the Apostle. The amazing architecture and historical significance make this a great travel destination. If you can, we suggest going back and giving it another visit. The Lima Cathedral was originally built in 1564 and located in Plaza Mayor, which is the downtown part of Lima, Peru. The cathedral is best known for being designed by Francisco Pizarro, who was a Spanish conquistador who conquered the Incan Empire and found Lima. The cathedral is best known for containing his tomb. Francisco Pizarro's vision was kept after the rebuild that had taken place due to an earthquake. As you walk into the cathedral, you will notice that it contains checkerboard floor and delicate vaulted ceilings. You will also notice the cathedral has bark furnishing. A highlight activity that we will be doing is visiting the tomb that contains Francisco Pizarro. As you walk into the tomb, you will notice the colorful Moisés Chapel. And lastly, the cathedral contains a central gateway which is called the Puerta de Perdón, or in English, the Door of Forgiveness. Thank you for joining us on our tour of Peru's natural wonders. We hope your visit was thrilling and exciting.